Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw, who'd been accused of running a nationwide telemarketing scheme targeting seniors, pleaded guilty to wire fraud on Monday in a dramatic courtroom reversal. Shaw appeared before U.S. District Court Judge Cindy Stein in Manhattan and entered into an agreement with federal prosecutors, changing her plea to guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In front of Judge Cindy Stein shortly after 10.30 a.m., Shaw entered into an agreement with federal prosecutors, changing her plea to guilty to a count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. She agreed to forfeit $6.5 million and to pay restitution up to $9.5 million and faces a sentence of up to 14 years in prison. Shaw, 48, said in court she knew it was wrong, many people were harmed and I'm so sorry. She admitted that she agreed with others to commit with wire fraud and knew it misled victims, over 10 of which were over the age of 55. Shaw did there was a misrepresentation of the product, regarding value of the service, noting it had little to no value. When asked if she knew what she was doing was wrong and illegal, she replied, Yes, Your Honor. Shaw's attorney, Priya Chowdhury, told NBC News her client pleaded guilty because she wants to pay her debt to society and put this ordeal behind her and her family. Ms. Shaw is a good woman who crossed a line. She accepts full responsibility for her actions and deeply apologizes to all who have been harmed, she said in a statement. Ms. Shaw is also sorry for disappointing her husband, children, family, friends, and supporters. Jennifer Shaw was a key participant in a nationwide scheme that targeted elderly, vulnerable victims, Damian Williams, the U. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, said in a statement following her plea. These victims were sold false promises of financial security but instead Shaw and her co-conspirators defrauded them out of their savings and left them with nothing to show for it. This office is committed to rooting out these schemes whatever form they take, he continued. Shaw was previously scheduled to stand trial beginning next week. She pleaded not guilty in April 2021 to charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering. The latter charge will be tossed, the plea agreement states. According to a copy of the agreement obtained by NBC News, Shaw won't be further criminally prosecuted by the Southern District of New York's office and at the time of sentencing, the government will move to dismiss any open counts against the defendant. She and her first assistant, Stuart Smith, were accused in March 2021 of committing wire fraud and money laundering in a scheme in which they generated and sold lead lists of innocent individuals for other members of their scheme to repeatedly scam, the U attorney's office said.